welcome to h2k infosys instructor led face to face true live online classes with cloud test lab you can attend the classes from any part of the world h2k infosys provide training in different technologies qa testing manual automation performance sap mainframe j unit web services etl data warehousing linux unix testing and also advanced courses in automation testing in qtp load runner ba java jte dot net technologies and many more visit our website for more information so this video will give you very important information about unix or linux testing what is unix or linux most of the common unix commands as a tester you are going to use and what is a putty tool vi editor ftp file transfer protocol shell scripting and qa tester role unix or linux is an operating system it's a set of programs that manages computer hardware resources and provide common services for application software the operating system is the most important type of system software in a computer systems in modern operating systems like mac android microsoft windows and also unix unix is a multitasking multi user computer operating system and it was developed in 1969 by group of people in AT&T just like a uh, oracle database or ibm db2 database microsoft sql server database unix also developed in different flavors like sun microsystems they developed sun solaris ibm aix hp ux sco unix and also linux is also unix kind of operating system which is kind of op open source operating system but you can also have a enterprise linux red hat linux or hel so this is a, basically unix is an operating system and it is also a powerful operating system compared with the uh, windows and uh, what you guys do how are you going to log in with unix operating system so when you want to perform some something on unix or linux you need to have an ip address of the unix box and also you need to have a login id and password so most of the developers or testers we are using the linux machines they can connect to the linux using one of the interface called putty you can see the icon here you can google for putty and download the tool and once you download and open this you will see the screen like this you can enter the ip address and once you click on open you will see a login id so you can enter your login id and password so most important familiar you need to be com commands are for mostly for testers point of view once you log into the unix you can type a command called man it's basically manual for any command if you want uh, to display list of files or directories under a specific folder you can type ma ls command but ls is list of list the files but ls has there are so many options you can add to the ls command now how do you know what are the options you need to type so you can simply type man space ls it will give you the list of options for ls command so very important thing here all the commands are case sensitive so if you type upper case it won't work so if you type ls it will show you just list of names of the files and directories but you want to know it is a directory or file you have permission or not or who created when it is created you can add some more extra options ls space hyphen ltr it gives you all the list of files and directories under the present working directory if you see this command provided all the list of folders 
so if you see d in front of this it is a directory if you don't see d that means it is a file so r for read permission a w write permission x means executable permission so most of the time you type this ls minus ldr command and there are few more commands important a u name if you want to see what is the version what flavor of unix you are working u name will give you the information who it will give you list of user names who logged into the current operating system you logged in who am i it will give you your user id name when you logged in pwd present working directory it will show you the current working directory where you are working cat greater than file name you can create a file and at the after typing some information you can type control z to exit from the cat command and also if you want to see the list of the, if you want to read the content of the file you can use more space file name and it will display the content of the file there is a command called cp command cp file 1 file 2 so you will see you can copy the content of file 1 to file 2 so you can create a one more copy of file 1 move move mv command to rename the file let's say you have move file 1 to my file 2 so this file 1 will be renamed to my file 2 so rm file name you can remove the file find find is one of the very important command in interview point of view if you want to find a file you don't know where the location is but you want to know you want to find that file it's kind of a search uh, search files on windows but in unix you can use this command find command to search the file names where it is located so for example you want to search for file 1 so you can type like find space you can if you want to from the current directory you can dot if you want to search from the root folder you can type slash forward slash minus name and uh, the file name let's say you want to search for file start with the uh, file and star all the files will be searched who the file name start with file star means after file it, it can be anything so it search all the file names which can be started with file and the grep command is one of the very important command grep global search for regular expression grep you can search for a specific string from the file let's say we have 100 different names in a file i wanted to see on a specific word exist in a file so you can search the content in a file if you see the difference find means to find a file name but grep is search a content in the in a file grep is what mkdir to create a directory cd to change the directory pwd present working directory ps and this is also very important command ps means process it will display list of processes running on the current ip address you logged in so let me show you an example here okay if you see this command ps space hyphen ef as i said ps command has some more options to display more information about the result in, from the results so if you just type ps it will show you very little bit information if you give some more options you will get more detail information about the output so here i am getting all the information about what are the processes are running on my current machine where i logged in so ps space minus ef let's say i wanted to search only specific uh, process let's say i have like 100 process running on my machine i don't want to see all 100 100 process i want to see only specific process running on my machine then you can use ps space hyphen ef pipe grep space vi vi is one of the process running on my machine i wanted to search i want to get the process id for that specific process so pipe is a concatenation command uh, to 
execute multiple commands at the same time yeah here i am executing ps minus ef command also from that output i am searching for the process which contains vi so i am executing both commands at the same time if you see the previous command ps minus ef it has like four process running it includes vi also so i want to only display this process you can see only pro four processes here that's why you can easily identify if you have 100 process listed here you cannot identify vi where it is located right so that's why i can grab this specific process ps ps ef grab vi so it is displaying only the pr specific process let's say i want to kill this process i want to stop the process so there is a command called kill kill space minus 9 the process id so it will stop if you exclude the ps minus ef see i don't output is nothing that means i killed that process so why you do this because sometimes your process is you may want to stop the process you want to restart something so in that scenario you may need this so let me show you some more information about application related thing let's assume we have a best buy application uh, we have best buy.com so how this pro how this application is running back inside so let's assume front end is connected to some web server which is weblogic server weblogic is web server also application servers also we can use so also web services also installed and backend is running on web, web logic server and uh, database is also running on linux mission so most of these web servers web services backend app servers database all these are most of the time most of the applications are deployed running on linux missions only or unix missions so if you want to stop a specific process or maybe some process might be down and you need to check if the process is down or not you try to launch bestbuy.com the page is page not found so how you know like what is the problem how you can identify you can go to the web server or you can log into web server and look for process ps minus ef grep best by startup script for example so you will see the process running or not if the process you don't see any process running then you go ahead and start the script so that is one of the important part as a tester you also need to run the scripts but since my video has limited 15 minutes i i can give you more detailed information in our regular classes so as a tester you also need to know about ftp commands file transfer protocol if you have uh, some log files you need to if you need to transfer from unix box to windows you need to use some ftp commands like get put m get m put also there are some tools like winscp filezilla tools so you can also use those kind of interface tools to transfer the files from unix to windows or windows to unix that is much easier i can show you a screenshot of how the winscp tool works So if you see the screen, this is WinSCP. We can connect to the Unix box. See all these files from the Unix right side and left side. I have all these in the Windows side. I can just drag and drop and I can copy these files to Windows to Unix or Unix to Windows. Just drag and drop. Sometimes due to security reasons, you may not able to connect to uh, using WinSCP. So in that scenario, you have to use WinSCP, uh, FTP commands like get put commands. Also, you should be familiar with the basic shell scripting, how to execute the script, if we have a read write permissions or not. So those are the important things you need to know as a tester. Basically, the Unix commands and the FTP commands, how to execute the shell script, you make sure uh, if the process are running or not, if the web server is down or app server is down. So those are the things you need to check. Thank you for watching this video. I wanted to provide more and more information. Watch our videos from HTK Infosys and looking forward to provide better trainings for our HTK students. Thank you and enjoy the videos.